Bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de Un Topo por el Mundo. Seguimos en Virobi Chang. Vamos a comenzar una nueva aventura. Me puse a buscar sinagogas en el Google Maps y encontré una sola. Se llama Beit Shuba. Miren qué linda construcción de madera. Vamos a ver si podemos entrar, conocerla y poder hablar con la gente. Estoy ya dentro de la sinagoga, me hicieron pasar muy amablemente Me dijeron que me ponga cómodo, que deje la campera todo por donde quisiera Y ahora parece que van a tener una actividad en la cual me invitaron a participar sin conocerme Entré, abrí la puerta y acá estoy Estamos con Valeria, que es la líder comunitaria de esta sinagoga. And how many synagogues are now in Birovitsa? Two. Traditional synagogue there and uh, or, uh, Chabad Lubavitch. Oh, okay. Two synagogues. Oh. And all things what you will see there, it is from here. How is the relationship with Chabad? W good relationship. Good. Oh. Yes, I have a good relation with, uh, with Rabbi. He is a good man, young man. Because it is a small town, we should have good relations yeah. with Rabbi. One day, a uh, synagogue visited one man, uh, this correspondence, like you are, maybe a journalist or something else. Ignacio in Cardona. I was so happy to, to, to talk with him. He was sitting, we have a tea like you, we are now. And I said to him so simple that please say thank you to your government. Uh, for everything, what you did before, maybe in the beginning of sorties. I said that you put much money into, uh, like, beginning of this uh, place. With the government of Argentina, was people from Argentina that particularly aport to Bijobi Shah? Yes, particularly people, mm. people, not government. Uh -huh. It was like the main idea for Zionist people, mm. to help people who are yeah. having now their own home. It's like protection place yeah. was for Jewish people. And of course I wanted to be so thankful to this man from Argentina mm -hmm. because we have a lot of documents that Argentina helped so much. And of course exactly for helping Jewish people to come here, to be here, to have protection, to have their own land. <laughs> And 
how was the life during the communist time here? It is the in time of assimilation. Mm. The, our people like come uh, prohibited sometimes to be in synagogue, and some people keep silent, like uh, look around. And I will show you some some special things yeah. why we are talking like this assimilation. It is some books. Uh, it's like historical books, and uh, you know that it is. Scientist uh, basis of for management uh, of some factory, but open it is the it is a sidur sidurim mm. prayer book, and they close and do like this and protecting yourself inside uh -huh. here like uh -huh. during the communist time. What did the synagogue do if it was for the uh, They were not so many people, they were only old people sitting mm -hmm. here because KGB men come here to visit Shabbat and looking who are here and why you are not walking. Please strictly, sometimes people could be lo lose their work because mm -hmm. of visiting synagogue and they try to be so, so like at home to stay at home in, instead of come here. Oh, what means for you to be Jewish? For me to be Jewish, it is so dangerous to be Jewish. And uh, my father, he he was Jew and he died. And uh, he said, it is to be Jewish, it is to have a gene of uh, fear in the blood all the time, non-stop, like carrying this fear to be Jew. Of your parents were Jews? Mm -hmm. No, it's my line of my father. My mommy has two. Uh, she had two the roots of Jewish. I know this. But it was the time a lot of people hidden. But now I'm Jew because I married with a Jewish man and mm -hmm. now I have a baby. And for me, of course, it's like a mix of everything. Now look at me. It is like the product of socialists together with religions, together with roots, uh, some Jewish roots, and uh, with communists. And like now, look before you, now I'm sitting like this lady with with different, different sides of our life. Look at me, this is my country. Your parents were communist? Mm -hmm. or yes. They, yeah, they were. Yes, they were. Because um, it was the time. They died being communist or they... No, 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 already not. But they, their soul were atheists or they were believers? No, 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 they were believers, of course. But they afraid. They afraid. My father was so afraid, and they stop it all talking about Jewish life. Because after Holocaust time, after the war, a lot of people stop talking about Jewish life. Some people uh, went to America. Some people went to Israel. Some people stay here and try to assimilate with this, with this place mm -hmm. where they were living. Shalom. Chang is the home for the Jewish, or you believe Israel is the home for the Jewish? It is exactly home for some Jewish. They died here. Here, here they died. And they put his life into this mm -hmm. place. And they did a lot for today, for we are sitting in this synagogue. A lot of people died too. Mm -hmm. Time killed this dream. Mm -hmm. And now we have Israel and we have the country for, for Jewish, exactly like home. And um, why both mm -hmm. of you personally? Mm -hmm didn't want to do Aliyah? Uh, me, now I'm, I am I can go tomorrow to make Aliyah, but I want to, to help here. It's now, now, only now. I don't know what, what the next. I need to be here. We are living in exactly a special place. I love it, Birabidjan, so much because it is like a mix of everything. A lot of people grown up in Christianity here, and they come up to visit, and they are so interested uh, to be here to sit and 
uh, to be together with the Jewish people. And I don't want to ask, are you Christian? Please go on, or go away from me. Of course not. The people come and sit here and reading uh, and speaking and praying together. For you personally, mm -hmm. what make you feel more identified to Judaism, Yiddish or Hebrew? Hebrew it is a language of the word of God, yes, the, the word of Torah, but Yiddish uh, it is something more close to the soul, more close to the heart for many people. It is like the like connection in the world. In the USA you can hear Yiddish in Israel, you can hear in, in Yiddish in the Soviet Union, you could hear Yiddish uh, with the tears uh, in the eyes. Uh, now we uh, remember Yiddish in our streets. It's uh, connecting uh, with suffering because people memories uh, that during the war it is Yiddish was the example that you are Jewish exactly. Yiddish for me it's like it means soul of Jewish. Maybe in 70s, 70s, right? Yeah? So 18, 18 uh, years uh, you can hear on the street the Yiddish. <laughs> And this is our prayer uh, scarf, it is Talit, and uh, we have tradition in our synagogue when the people died, we cover mm -hmm. it. Uh, like the body of people and pray. Mm -hmm. And then when finished with ceremony of burial and we are doing like this to keep this and uh, when the people are so uh, missing about these people, they come to synagogue and doing like this mm -hmm. and sitting and praying. It's like a warm of memories. It's like come, come into mind and uh, it's making me warming and it's making my people warming of memories of these people. <laughs> <laughs> it is a present. Uh -huh. Wow. Derby Rebijan. Wow, me acaban de regalar este libro. Yiddish, Yiddish. Es pasiva. Derby Rebijan Enyon. Rascaza, da. History in Birbija. Именно в этом, именно сегодня. Я тебе расскажу больше. Вчера приезжаем, идем. Саша Лазарева. Да не бойся, ты же ж гонка. Выходим с поезда, Лера, и он мне говорит, на небе горит одна звезда. Загадывайте желание. Ну я загадала, думаю, что она? Сегодня она мне говорит, мамочка, я загадала желание занять первое место по конькам. Ура, молодец. Ура. А что ты тут показываешь? No entiendo nada de lo que está pasando. Звоните, если что лучше сначала да, созвонимся. Estamos terminando acá. Me dijo Valeria que nos vamos a encontrar mañana por la mañana para salir a pasear por la ciudad, así que yo me voy a descansar y nos vemos.